How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner from the last MAB giveaway. I'm also going to announce the new giveaway that's going on in the MAB group, which is Middle Aged Beauties, if you don't know what MAB stands for. And also I'm going to do the Thanksgiving tag. So yeah, today's Thanksgiving, so I'm going to do the Thanksgiving tag. So if you guys would like to stick around and join me, keep on watching. Okay guys, so first of all, I want to announce who the giveaway winner is from the last MAB giveaway. As I said, MAB stands for Middle Aged Beauties. And the last person that did the giveaway was Finding My Tiara, Patricia. And she had a, it was a $50 Visa gift card. So the winner for that was Christina Sanders. So congratulations, Christina. I'm sure you're going to be super excited because you can use it anywhere or anyhow, whatever way you need uh, to use it. For so the next giveaway, the new one, is being hosted by uh, Flory Sparks. I love Flory Sparks. She is such a wonderful, wonderful person. She, she just has a wonderful, kind heart very very genuine very sweet endearing so her giveaway that she's having she's actually giving away the anastasia uh, master palette from mario which you know i have that palette i did do a review and a look and shared some of that with you guys i'll put a link down below to that if you guys would be interested in seeing that but does a deluxe sample of the better than sex mascara which love that mascara sonia kashik uh she has uh, makeup brush set. It's a it's a nice big set of makeup brushes, and oh my goodness, they look amazing. I know she has some other things in there. I'm gonna put a link down below of her video, her actual giveaway video. Now the rules are: you must be 18 years of age to enter. Uh, you must be subscribed to each of the women in the MAB group, which I will have all their links down below. I, on Flory's uh, video, the actual giveaway video, just let her know that you're interested and you want to be entered and you did subscribe to everybody. The other thing, make sure that you show that you're not set to private uh, when you're subscribed to everybody because if you set yourself to private, uh, we, we always get together and... Uh, when the person does their giveaway, they'll announce who the giveaway winner is and we'll make sure that they're subscribed to each of us and then we'll give the okay and thumbs up and everything. So if you're showing yourself as private, then that's pretty much not going to uh, qualify you to be able to be in the giveaway if you're interested in it. So you must show yourself as, um, set as public so that we can all look back and see if your name is drawn. So that's very important. So Flurry's giveaway is going on until the 28th, November 28th. That is the, it's going on until then. So from now until the 28th, you can enter. So let me go ahead and put some hand lotion on here. We're not going to really do too much of uh, editing because this is going to be a fun video for, you know, because I'm sure some of you guys either are preparing your turkeys or maybe you already ate and you're stuffed and you know full maybe you're sitting down having a cup of coffee tea whatever you're having all right i'm doing the thanksgiving tag i've just seen other people doing this if i'm extremely bright i apologize but i have my screen open uh on my laptop to see about the questions so and then i have my ring light on so if i am i apologize but i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and answer the questions for you guys so the number one question is Whose house usually hosts Thanksgiving? Well, mostly here now, like at, at the house, like in my home, I'm with my uh, mom, my brother, then there's my husband and I, and my son comes home, like usually from school and everything. He's in college. Uh, my daughter lives with her boyfriend and her little girl, my little grandbaby. Um, so they all usually come here and you know we get together and ha usually have it here uh, before we used to rotate it mostly i went to my mom's house when i was a little bit more younger and the kids were more little 
but then it changed after a while and I started having it at my place and then had mom and them around um, sometime after my dad passed away pretty much. That's so number two, what foods are traditional Thanksgiving dishes? Oh, traditional Thanksgiving dishes. If anything, which I'm not having it this year though, crazy enough, is usually a cheesecake. There's a certain cheesecake that we always made. And this year is like one of the years that I'm not going to have it made, sadly, but I will have a couple pumpkin pies made. My grandma made Waldorf, Waldorf salad, Waldorf salad, sorry. My grandma used to make Waldorf salad and my dad loved that stuff. So we haven't made that for a long time. That was something my grandma made a lot. Number three is who does the cooking and do you assign dishes for people to bring? Basically, no. No, we, I, I do all the cooking. Like if back in the day, it was mom did all the cooking. Before that, my grandma did all the cooking and so forth. And now I do all the cooking. So it's pretty much me who does all the cooking on Thanksgiving Day. And I've been doing that for years now. So I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much the cook in the house. Number four is, uh, what does your family do after you eat? Uh, like, do you play games, watch TV? or something else. Well, usually after we eat, we get our cup of coffee, uh, sit back and relax. And every year, every year on Thanksgiving, we watch Christmas with the Cranks to get us into that spirit because now Thanksgiving feast is over. Yeah, Christmas will be coming up. It's just been a tradition. I don't know. It just kind of kicked in around when the movie came out at some point. We laughed at it so much. I love a lot of Christmas movies, but that's one that my mom gets into and my brother's kind of a Tim Allen fan. You know, he always liked home improvement and everything. So yeah, we get out Christmas with the cranks. Okay, so how formal is your Thanksgiving and does everybody eat at the same time? I believe that's number uh, five. Yes. Yes. We pretty much eat all at the same time. Uh, we, the thing is though, we don't really Although this is our first year that we have a really good dining table. We really only had like a small dining table. And the way that my mom and my brother get around, it's very difficult with them sometimes whenever they're, you know, trying to get them around. So we pretty much sit in the, where the TV's at and have trays set up. And we all sit on a chair at a tray. That's pretty much how we've been doing it. So we do all sit together and eat, but for the most part, it's with a tray at, at a chair or seat. Uh, before, back in the day, yes, dining table. We all sat at the dining table and we ate. So we do have a bigger dining table now, so it would be nice. So it might work out. I don't know. We'll see. Number six is, uh, what Thanksgiving tradition are you not willing to give up? What tradition am I not willing to give up? Hmm. I think the one tradition I would hate to give up is being with family. Meaning, you know, just, I think just in general, you know, I'm so used to my kids coming home and I can't imagine, and I, I'm sure it's very hard, like when, you know, I live in Pennsylvania and let's say my kids move to California and they can't come or things come up, you know, that'd be very hard. I wouldn't really want to give that up. I mean, it happens, you know, and that's the way things are a lot of times, but that'd be something so hard for me, especially for my kid, with my kids. After my divorce and leaving their dad and everything, and, you know, uh, like as most of you probably know, I was in a pretty abusive relationship, and so when I left, me and the kids got, you know, like it was even, we were more they were the world to me, you know, I mean, if it wasn't for them, I don't know if I would have gotten through all of that part that I needed to get through, to be honest. And I more, had, more or less had to be stronger for them. And I kind of, I think now things ca are catching up to me a little bit because I didn't take care of myself. I took care of them, which naturally any parent's going to do, you know. So, yeah, I'm so like mm, with them. Um, and I'm like, I'm not saying not any other parent isn't, it's just, you know, it's been very difficult. Like, especially when she moved out and then my son moved out, um, cause I was always used to them. They kind of helped guide me through life, I guess, basically, but it is what it is too. So, but I hate to give that up. I really would. I love to see my, 
my family and my kids and everything, you know, and then with my little peanut now. So that would be, that would probably be the one thing, one of the things I can think of. Number seven, would you give Thanksgiving up for the needy? I sure would, actually. I really, I really would on the fact I would probably even try to get my kids or, you know, whatever, a little bit involved and go somewhere and help one of those places where they serve, like in a church or whatever for the homeless or just, you know, elderly that's all by themselves, all alone. I would, I have talked about that and thought about that different times. And yeah, I, I, would, I think I would now, you know, now that my kids are older and you know, it is pretty much just the four of us in the house now. So yeah, I, I really would take up on that offer if it was there and, you know, I could be of any kind of help. You know, there's a lot of churches in my town here, quite a few of them. So I have thought about that, actually. That's something I really, truly have thought about. Okay, so I guess we're going to go back to the cheesecake part because number eight is what dessert is a tradition with your family on Thanksgiving Day and why? Well, the cheesecake. Let's go back to the cheesecake. Uh, pretty much that kind of got started with my kids' uh, their other grandma, their dad's mom. Uh, she made a cheesecake every year for Thanksgiving and I think she does it for Christmas maybe too, but Thanksgiving enough for sure she does it. And the kids always loved that. So I ended up getting the recipe off of her way back when they were, you know, real little and stuff. And I've had it ever since. And so, yeah, pretty much it was always the dessert I made because the kids both loved it, which I did tell them that this year, which they're fine with, I'm only making pumpkin pies. So number nine, what time do you usually start your Thanksgiving dinner? Well, it depends again. Usually I like to have it around one o'clock, maybe two-ish or something, somewhere around there. Probably that's what's going to be this year. My daughter likes to do the shopping now, the Black Friday thing and all that stuff and start at six o'clock like on Thanksgiving day. I honestly, I, I hate Black Friday in the sense of going out on Black Friday. Some people love it. It's a tradition. My niece loves it. She goes out. Uh, my experience was pretty terrible. So, and my mom went along with me. Her and I both went along and it was, <laughs> it was a pretty scary experience. So there was only one time I did it and I was like, oh my God, never again, never again. Um, but I, I mean, I have gone out a little bit later in the day on, on Black Friday. I kind of gave in a couple times. I think I'd just rather sit at home, be in my PJs, and just go for it online and try and get the per, the per items online than rather to fight the crowd. That's that's pretty much me. So number 10, is your Thanksgiving dinner just for family? Pretty much it is. I mean, like, I don't even recall, you know, because like most of my friends, they go with their family. Um, you know, they be more than welcome to come, you know, like if I, if I knew of a friend or someone that I was very close to, you know, just somebody I knew in general, and I knew they were going to be home alone, like they wouldn't have no family or anything. Yeah, I would probably be like, you know what, come on over or, you know, find a way for them to come over. You know, I, I would have something like that. Most part it is family, but it would be an open door, you know, if, if something did occur, obviously, because I couldn't sit back and watch somebody not have, you know, something on that day, you know, and at least to be thankful. And it makes you feel good. You know? Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I will have the link to uh, Flo Flory Sparks and her giveaway video. And I will have all the rules down below. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving day. And like I said, you got stuffed and, and you got to see a lot of your loved ones and families and friends or whatever, wherever you may be uh, in celebrating. And I hope that you have a safe journey going home. And if you did like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it if you wouldn't mind. You know, share it around. Maybe more people can go ahead and hear about the giveaway. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and show chuck you can chuck you can chuck that button <laughs>
<laughs> I can chuck that button. Oh my goodness, Lori. <laughs> I honestly didn't have no wine. Did not have. This is mine. Christmas time, I might have my wine, a glass of wine or something, but no, I didn't. I didn't have any. So yes, <laughs> just a case to verify. But anyway, guys. Um, yes. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can go ahead and join me each week. I don't know what this was. That was, I already did the thumbs up. See, I'm, I'm everywhere. So yeah, you go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week. I'd love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. And be safe if you're out there doing Black Friday sales. I hope you guys get some really good deals. And yeah, thanks guys. Love you so much. Bye.